the beach. You cast it without a manipulator. How did you do it? Perhaps you can recall certain stimuli which may have affected you differently. Was there a technique you used which is different than what you normally do? Did the energy feel any different? What? I'm not a caster. There must have been an effect which triggered the change in the cast. Something which allowed you to connect with your inner reservoir of energy. If you could just recall what it is, you could replicate the cast. Maybe we should table this discussion for later. It is imperative that we discover how to recreate the cast. I agree, but we may be more successful if he tries to cast again. And the inn isn't the ideal place to practice. You are correct. We shall attempt to recast again when we are more isolated. Maybe we should figure out our next steps for finding the Water Temple. You're right. We had our break at the beach, but we did come here for a reason. This city is the closest to the islands among the coast. If I recall correctly, the exact location of the Water Temple has been lost to even Elderism. My assumption would be that it is located on one of those islands, similar to how the Wind Temple was located on the Floating Isles. An intelligent assumption, but one that will keep you from the true location, I fear. That which has been hidden from memory is safely stored beneath nature's rocky peaks. And who are you? Just a simple bard. A bard? I warned the lonely soul not to seek comfort from the sea. For her will cannot be tamed, and when she pulls him into a watery bosom, for his death she cannot be blamed. And yet still he sought her bravely, waiting ever deep, and far beneath her sea foam lace, his secrets she will keep. That was beautiful. I thank you. I love the poetry of Gigalane. It's great to meet someone who also knows of his work. When did you come across his poem? Just after I finished writing it, I suppose. Y y you're Gigalane? I can't believe I'm talking to THE Gigalane! Your poems and stories are what got me through my toughest years at the Academy. W would it be okay if... I mean, it's just such an honor. Can I shake your hand? I am honored to meet someone who has such a deep appreciation for my work. You don't know him?! The famous bard! He's traveled throughout Asaria, recording the stories of adventurers. His poems are known throughout Havengard. He's a legend. You give me too much credit. You're just being humble. You're too kind. Perhaps I could give you a live performance, if there's time. A live performance would be the best thing ever! Oh, actually, I think I have heard of this guy. You wrote about the thief in the purple marble, right? Mm, one of my earlier works. I am pleased people are still familiar with it. It is a fun little tale. 
That doesn't explain why you're here, or why you were listening in on us. Oh, I'm sorry if I overstepped, but it's been a long time since I'd heard anyone talk about the temples. I couldn't help but be interested. And it sounds like you could use some help, too. I can guide you to the entrance of the Water Temple. It's located below the mountain valley. As a bard, I do come across all manner of stories and information. If you're open to the suggestion, I'd be happy to show you where it is. Why would you want to join us? I'll admit my motives are a bit selfish. If your adventure is seeking out the temple, I'd like to share in your adventure. You want to record a story about us? I promise I won't be dead weight. I know the journey through the temples is treacherous, but I have heard a lot about them through my own travels. Stories are stories. How do we know if your information is accurate? Yeah, that one about the thief seemed pretty fantastical. Because he's Gingalane! He doesn't need to make up stories! He bases them all on real events! Perhaps there is merit in what the Bard says. If even Elder Isim had difficulty locating it, then it must be well hidden. We do know that the Aquarians use the nearby mountains as defenses against neighboring tribes. It is not unlikely that the temple could have been built within the mountain. Difficult terrain deters unwanted visitors. Then it's settled. Gangalan can lead us to the temple. It would be valuable to have the aid of a knowledgeable bard such as he. I spent many a late night reading through his tales of past heroes. They are quite fascinating. They deserve all the recognition they've received. It is getting a bit late. Maybe we should turn in for the night. We can head to the Water Temple tomorrow with the help of our new guide. I'm very excited to see this next adventure unfold. I will meet you here in the morning.